Another virus update, Andrew Gatt's virus update. <coughs> Did come back from Martins. That was hard work. Really well done. I've got all the things I want. But they've got loads of bread there. I might go there for bread next time. It seems to be a lot better than other shops. But most things I've got, some things were a little bit lacking. And I had a choice that to do something else rather than that. But the way they're out there, Less people with masks this time, but, you know, I was, I was waiting for the queue, you know, with the cashier. And I was about to walk over to it and start to put my stuff on. And I was told by a woman, will you stand over there, sir? I said, what? Will you stand over there? Social distancing. So I, I, I walked where she said, and I was there for about ten minutes. <coughs> and then suddenly a guy came over and said, you can go get to the cashier now. And I thought, oh no, thanks. <laughs> but they're really paranoid about everything. When I was getting me back in, the woman there, said, could you stand a little bit away with me? I said, yeah, sure. But they're really paranoid and scared, you can tell. And uh, they're just making sure they, uh, they've gone by the stupid walls that they've been told and, and they'll do it. I don't believe it still. <laughs> There's a woman on YouTube that calls people killers if they if make videos and they don't tell people the coronavirus is real. I'm not a killer, right? But I will tell the truth. And I'm not thick, I'm naive or gullible and I do my research. And they should. That's why I put stuff in the link in the, in the description so that people do that and wake up themselves. <coughs> I, I, I really don't believe in it. I really don't. But it's caused havoc down here. The shop's a bit empty a lot of the time. Um, <coughs> and new rules about how you can't even walk into a shop. Um, but I went.